This building we are looking at right here is obviously not very much to look at, but it's got a bit of a history to it, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that history because by the end of this video, this building will be gone. So, I am in the town of Bala Kenwood, Pennsylvania. It's um, Bala is B-A-L-A, -A, which is kind of obvious, but Kenwood is spelled C Y. N W Y D. It's a Welsh thing, but it's um it's the town of Balakinwood. It is just outside Philadelphia, in the township of Lower Marion, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. And this building is originally it was called West Maniunk Woolen Mills. It was a building that went back to the middle of the 18 um, 1800s. And I'm filming this right now. The filming of this is probably just is uh, late December of 2019. And then I'll show you a video from January of 2020 when the building's actually being torn down. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this building and, and you know why it's being torn down and everything and a little bit of history about it. So this is where this building is located located is what's known as the main line of Philadelphia. I want to sometime do a whole video on what the main line is. Uh, Catherine Hepburn in the Philadelphia story, that was the main line. Um, mansions, uh, fancy horse farms, um, you know, all those kind of things associated with sort of old Philadelphia money, that's the main line. Well, that part of the main line didn't come into existence until the later half of the 1800s. Before that, you had a manufacturing center in some of these areas, especially this area. So, this area where this mill was, uh, was located is in a part of Lower Marion Township that used to be called... West Maniunk. And the reason why it's called West Maniunk is it's right across the river from the Maniunk section of Philadelphia. If you go down this road um, about a half a mile, you're going to be in Philadelphia. You're going to be in Maniunk. Uh, incidentally, if you take the other, if you go the other way on the road, you're still going to end up in Philadelphia. It's kind of the way the way this is situated. You're um, you're kind of like in that little corner where Philadelphia goes, um, sort of the borderline goes north and south, and then you get to a point where it kind of juts out to the northwest along the Schuylkill River, and we're right in that corner where um, where it's Montgomery County, and but it's at, but you're kind of like almost surrounded by Philadelphia to the sort of the north and the east, I guess it would be. And then Delaware County's kind of to the south, um, with Radnor Township and Haverford Township um, to the south and the west. But um, but this area was a major manufacturing center for the Philadelphia area. Um, Maniunk was very. That's where all the industry was. Nowadays, when people think of Maniunk, they're thinking of the bars. Uh, that's where all the you know St. Joe's uh, students go. The Villanova students, I'm sure, go there. These little trendy bars and restaurants and that sort of thing. The uh, but you know 150 years ago, 130 years ago, this was manufacturing. This was the one of the core manufacturing regions of parts of Philadelphia. And Maniunk and West Maniunk were kind of that's where all this took place. So this mill was a link in Lower Marion's part of that, of that industrial history. That's what made this building so important because it's, it was the last one in this general area. There are still a few more mill buildings remaining in Lower Marion and there are several in the Maniunk section of Philadelphia. But as far as this area of Lower Marion, this, is, this was the last one that was left. So what what happened to it? Well, a lot of locals will know this building as the plant outlet because for years that's what it was was a plant outlet. It was an, like a nursery or they sold 
plants and things like that out of it. I always referred to it as Lee's Shoddy Mill because that's what I had known of it as, and I think it was some of the preservationists that I used to work with, that's the way they always referred to it as. All right, so these are some old insurance maps, um, courtesy of the Free Library of Philadelphia. The date in the corner, ignore that too, because they're actually from the 1880s, and um, that is just a map number, the 1892. But I want to direct you to where there's a big square building in the center, number one. That building still is what's still standing, and you can see the little area in the front that kind of juts out towards where the creek is. You can see that in the photo images, and then these two small buildings to the um, to the far right. Those buildings were still there, so that was all what was still standing. Then there was a newer building in the kind of in the front that was more resembled a garage. But everything to the left of that square, I believe, was destroyed in a fire uh, in the 1880s. In the sometime in the 1880s, and then eventually, um, Schofield, who originally owned the building, I don't know what happened to him, but eventually, a couple of brothers named with the last name of Lee, they eventually reopened the mill, and there's articles that I found to that effect, and it talks about their their mill, and this is where I think the name Lee Shoddy Mill comes in, um, and Shoddy comes from the type of cloth that they manufactured, um, where it was like a recycled material. I would imagine that that's where the term Shoddy comes from. It was probably a low quality quality type of cloth and um, it over the course of the 20th century it continued to be a manufacturing uh, facility there's two cemeteries right up the road from here uh, one's called West Laurel Hill Cemetery which is kind of famous it's the sister cemetery to Laurel Hill Cemetery which is in Philadelphia um, well, this was West Laurel Hill Cemetery which is in Lower Marion Township, and then right next to that is another cemetery called Westminster Cemetery. Um, there was a time when they were making, I think it was caskets or something, back in the 1920s, they were making caskets or something out of this facility, and that same family owned this, this building for many, many, for decades throughout most of the 20th century. Um, there were plans, there were always plans to kind of get rid of this building. Uh, one of the owners wanted to turn it into a self-storage facility in the early 2000s. There is a major developer in the Philadelphia area who wanted to turn it into a uh, apartments. And both of those plans, the community hated the idea of the self-storage facility. The apartments might have gone over better if they would have happened years ago, but now this area's been hit with so many new apartment projects, nobody wants new apartments. Okay, so the project that actually won out and what's going to be developed here, as, this, as we see this site getting torn down, is a uh, sort of a long-term nursing facility. I, I don't think they want to call it a nursing home. Um, long-term care facility. Um, I know when I first used the term, I used uh, went by township documents and what they were referring to the project as. And I got an email from one of the uh, one of the people doing the project. They, you know, they didn't like the term that I used. So it, it's a long-term care facility, um, but that that kind of place. That's what it's going to end up being. Probably going to be built over the next couple of years. I don't know. I don't recall what the uh, expected completion date is. Uh, probably a couple of years it'll take. But um, but they were originally supposed to tear this building down like a year ago, and I've been wanting to get by to make sure I got shots of it before it got torn down. So when I finally learned that they were that it was finally being prepared to come down, that's when I started coming over every couple weeks just to see what the progress was and make sure I got, at least got some video of it coming down. So that's what it's going to be. Here you can see after it's all been taken down they're still doing some work in there kind of clearing up some of the stuff and getting it ready for the new building. But in the end this is what it's going to be. So history is getting demolished here. 
there's another aspect to the whole thing which also shouldn't be ignored and that's a concept that preservationists tend to call demolition by neglect that's really the story of this building it's it was allowed to deteriorate it was a historic building um, there's no question in my mind about that but it was allowed to be essentially demolished by neglect it's the, the phrase means exactly what it is. Property owner will own a building and they'll do little or no maintenance to it. It eventually just gets too costly to fix up. And they say, we have no choice. We can't do anything with this building. It's just gonna cost too much to, tear, to renovate or anything like that. And someday I might actually do a bigger video on that because there are a few different buildings in this township that I can kind of highlight that one building was under the threat of demolition by neglect. It was owned by uh, SEPTA, if I recall right. That building's been fixed up and is, in, is being used now as a great historic site. It's got a little uh, coffee shop in there now. And it's, it's a great uh, historic preservation uh, story. There's another one that's been abandoned for many years, an old mill building that I've shown in the past in videos, and um, I know some of the other people, um, some of the other video channels that I watch have also shown it um, nearby here. That building also has been deteriorating for years, but it's gonna be fixed up and it's gonna be turned into condos eventually. And um, there's other buildings that are just being let to go and um, that are probably just gonna fall down on their own eventually. And that's really what would have happened to this one if it would have stayed standing much longer is it would have just fallen down on its own. So that's what is happening with this site, this building. Um, it, was, it was a nice building. I always loved driving past it uh, for many years. I'd come down this way, check out this building. We are right across the street from the, um, what's called the Heritage Kenwood uh, Trail, or the Kenwood Heritage Trail, sorry, I got that backwards. But um, it's a nice little, you know, two mile trail. It has links in the Maniunk. So I'm gonna do, probably do a video, some more videos on that. I have done a couple of videos related to it. So I'm probably gonna do some more videos on that. It's a great little trail if you're into if you're into uh, doing uh, rail trail kind of things, it's got a lot of uh, history markers like the one you saw here on it uh, telling the story of the area's history. So thank you very much for watching. It's always appreciated, and I will see you next time.